So the Rocky and Bullwinkle game is pretty much everything you would expect from the Rocky and Bullwinkle franchise. It's a lot better than the uh, 8-bit version, but it still can be quite tedious, but it's worth a playthrough. This is a very, very long intro to it. So I'll just let you guys enjoy it. strange foreign accents. <laughs> This is pretty long. Trademark, our Game Boy. Okay, so you have options at the very beginning. Um, you could just start the game with the main game, or you could play a mini game, which will give you a free uh, guy if you win. This one sucks, the dude with the horse. That one's not very funny. You just have to jump over stuff. I'll probably eventually try it out just so you guys can witness it, but the best one to do is uh, Sherman and Peabody. And I wish they would have incorporated this more into the game. It would have been fun to have a level with... Uh, Sherman and Peabody, and even the, uh, the dude on the horse. You know, actually have a level with them. Because, uh, Sherman's actually pretty, uh, fun to control. So what, uh, Mr. Peabody throws the, uh, uh, the, what's it called? The candy, or the bubble gum. So you have to blow it, and it's supposed to land in his mouth, or try your best to have it land in his mouth, but it's kind of hard to... Yeah, there we go. Yes! Come on, Mr. Peabody. Okay, cool. The first one's pretty easy. If you play it again, it gets a bit harder. The Grimalaya Mountains. In pursuit of the Purloin Prizes. Okay, finally. 
four minutes later, we can start the game. And you start out as Rocky. No, 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 Bullwinkle. And you can headbutt, and you can throw um, those apples or whatever. You can bash the rocks by headbutting. And just hit over to dodge stuff. The flags are for points. So if that's something that you're into. I think you get extra guy um, if you um, A um, with a certain amount of points. The flowers are your hit points up there in the top. Let's just keep track of our extra guys that we have. Alright, hit him three times. I'm not going to go that route. Uh, it's dangerous. You can die, and it's not really necessary. Oops. So just headbutt the mountain goat. And these things will give you... Uh, uh, those extra things to throw. it is worth trying to get all the apples that you can. Let's just call them apples. Remember three times. Don't need the uh, flower. I wonder if it's worth points. It is worth points. But you don't really need it. Stupid. Big old moose. Big old hitbox on him. So Bullwinkle is off to a rousing start and you must feel pretty proud of yourself right now. Bullwinkle goes spelunking in the long lost caverns of Sadium, the rare gravity to find mineral. So you can just jump over these rats. Or just wait for the rocks. Or you, you have to hit him. You have to hit him three times to actually uh, there you are. So what do we have? 13,000 points? I'm trying to keep an eye on how much... Uh, how much points I have. This part's going to be tough. There's a lot of... Uh, what's it called here? A lot of platforming. I always like to wait once where this thing goes. That's kind of a hard jump to make. See, barely even made it. Now the small ones won't fall. Later on, there's going to be some bigger ones. That if you jump on it once, they'll kind of go down. 
And then, uh, ugh, almost lost it. And I wouldn't go out of my way to try to get those flags. Don't put yourself in danger to get any flag, unless that's something that you're interested in. See, these ones will fall, but these ones won't. And the controls are quite floaty. Takes a bit to get used to these. So we're almost, whoa, done. Here, I forgot, I thought that was a small one. See, I wouldn't jump up and grab those. Okay, we made it past this. All we have to do is jump down to here. Headbutt him. I'll take those. Get him. We'll go in here. Here's Minecart Carnage. So just duck for the first part. This is the definitely the hardest part of the level. This first part. So you have to watch out to the right. There we go. Once you see that top little orange thing, that's when you know when to uh, to jump. So hit the brakes by hitting back. But you always want to jump before. If you don't jump before, it will uh, you'll fall into the hole. So remember, just keep duck. So we're going to go to the left now. Remember, always watch for that orange right there. Duck. Stupid game sucks. Yep. Yep, game sucks. I quit, man. It's stupid. It takes a long time to, to be able to shoot multiple ones. Nice. I think there's, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that flower. Okay, two more sections. This one. Which can be difficult. Stupid. Alright, here's the last part. Jump. Oh, what? Yeah, right, man. Yeah, right, man. See, like, the controls are pretty wonky. Like, I hit the thing and he doesn't throw the apples. It's just so, in like, ugh. Yeah, half that, man. It's the little things that, you know... 
ruin the game. Yeah, jump early. Alright, here's the uh, end boss. Which way? Yeah, so they like to switch sides. Oh, yeah, cheap. Cheap. That's right. That's what I thought, dude. No, I'll take those apples. So, I'll show you what this one's about. You gotta just jump over stuff and duck. Sid Gould Jr. Sid Gould's brother-in-law. <laughs> you gotta just jump over stuff. And every time, oops, you get hit, the train comes closer to you. I'm probably going to lose, but whatever. You got duck. Duck. Dumb. Game sucks. I'm going to get hit by this. Stupid train, man. Then I'm gonna play Sherman and Peabody. Duck, jump, duck! Jump! <laughs> this thing's gonna hit me. I'm dead. I guess not. Duck. This one's scary. I like the other ones way better. So if that's his brother-in-law, why is he trying to kill his sister? His wife. His... Sid's wife. Is the dude's train... Sid's wife that was tied up, her brother was the guy on the train. Right? Hurry up, man. So here's the intro to like the next one. It's kind of like a water thing and the difficulty ramps up big time and this one's more tedious than anything. This level sucks. So you have to step on these to bring them down to let him go through. Yep. Welcome to Rocky and Bullwinkle. Stuff like that, man. Just annoys me to no end. Yep. Welcome to Rocky and Bullwinkle. You gotta hit him twice. Give me these apples. Come on, green. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that flower. But the game will immediately take it away from you. Because that's what it loves to do. Ooh. Come on. I knew it, man. See? Welcome to Rocking Bullwinkle. Jump and jump. Yep, I'll take that flower, but they will immediately take it back from me. They're going to pull some nasty little move. 
So, uh, no, okay. Really? See? Immediately takes it away from you. Ooh, I can duck and shoot? Huh. Look at that. Well, I'm back, baby. Oh, but look, now I'm out of apples. Pretty much three. That's pretty much a death sentence. To have three apples. Oh, and these rats are just something else. You gotta headbutt them. You gotta jump from this, I think. It'll take it away from me. Yep, now I'm out of apples. I'm a dead man. Yep. Stupid move on my part. I need more apples. Oh, fortunate. I need some apples so I can defend myself. You know? Is he going to give me problems? He will. I'm taking him out. I'll just waste it. I don't care. I don't need him in my life. Two. Three. Come on. One. Two. Three. Okay. We're almost done. Yep. Can't even defend myself. Okay. So here's the end. All right. This level is tedious. So watch out for the bottle. This is like the longest level of the game. Yep, welcome to Rocky and Bullwinkle. Yep, in his big old moose head. Man. Big old hitbox on him. Man, this game just upsets me. Yep, and then the ghosts. The ghosts are everywhere. Everywhere you don't want to be. No, they're everywhere you want to be. Big old fat moose head. Come here, rat boy. And who can forget dear rat boy? I'll take that. Where are the ghosts? Yep, see? They're just waiting for you. Man, the game's rigged. Yeah, let's work some more ghosts. There you are, see? Not today. Okay, watch over the bottle. Oh, surprised it didn't hit me. Look, went right through his nose. 
There's fat nose. Come here, rat boy. Rat King Cole. Rat Scallion. You little rat scallion. All right. I'm oh, of course. Welcome to Rocky and Bullwinkle. I got four guys. Oh, because I beat that thing. I think once I hit 40,000, I'll get another thing. So the trick here is to jump through that, through it. Okay, so this, you gotta... Don't hit the fuses. Or it'll hurt you. But they're fairly easy to jump over. Bullwinkle's got pretty good vertical. There is a flower over there, but I don't suggest getting it. There's a lot of dangerous stuff that you don't want to be a part of. Come on, dude. Yep, not today. I got 17 apples. I'm doing decent. Whoa. Okay. Now I'll drop down. Down. I'm not a greedy man. Uh. Just let it slice through his nose. The rats are annoying. Yeah, that's right. I'm back, baby. Full health. Nothing can stop me. I'm untouchable. Not today. Yep, I'm dead. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead moose. Ah! I hate this game. Takes everything away from you. No, come here, rat boy. I'm not done with you. Oh my god, it's gonna hit me. See, long level. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Welcome to Rocky and Bullwinkle. Oh, good. Ah. I'll probably just take damage here. Or maybe not.
Yeah, right. This game sucks. I think this is the end. Am I not? No, not yet. Soon, though. Yep. One last thing. One last little hurrah. What? Ah! Of course. I'll take that. Yeah, here's the end. No, it's not. Man, when does this level end? How am I supposed to get up? Yep, screw it. Suicide run. Yoink. Alright, here's the boss. Come on, dude. Where are you? Make your move. Yoink. Okay. Do the Peabody one. Much more fun. They should have gave different games for each different level. Come on, Peabody. Nope. Yes. Much more fun. See, I wish you get to play as him because he's nice and small. His sprite's small. At least we get to switch characters. We don't have to deal with the moose anymore. So they gave the squirrel the worst, absolute worst, uh, attack move possible. Like, no range whatsoever. Oh, look at that. Look how many guys I got. And we're gonna need them, too. Gotta hit those guys three times. The last level is tough. The one after this. Thousand grams. Uh, looked bigger when I bought it. Or not look bigger. What was the one where Monty Burns hits, uh, hits Homer with a thousand gram? Uh, thing. He's like, oh, it seemed bigger when I bought it. <laughs> or when I ordered it. Out for this. 
This level layout's pretty uninspired. I wonder if we can get, uh, whoops. Another 20,000. Yeah, I'll take that. Something's telling me I should, uh, go back and try to get up there. Stupid. Okay, can't make that, but I could make this, and that, and then this. Oh, man. Fortunately, there's going to be, uh, yeah, there's a flower. And another one. The It's pretty generous, actually. This level is uh, pretty generous with the flowers. Let's see. Look, we're already leveled back up again. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take all of these. Hundred points for each rat. I'll take that. Look at all these. 250 for the flowers. Yeah, we'll make it to 60 thou in no time. But it's a pretty uninspired level layout. Oh, you punk. Okay, done. One and done. We don't want to pressure you, but the next level is the last one of the game. And by far the hardest. Level's tough. Okay, so we have to ride these skulls, but you move when you get on them. See how I'm sliding? You have to be careful to so hop to this one now. And you can tell when the thing's gonna reach. Because it'll it'll do a little juke thing. Yeah, see. Stupid. Juke this thing out. You gotta watch out for the bone on the ground, too. Ugh. The bats are very annoying. So you got to up there, hit the switch, and then this thing will open.
Come on, man. Don't let me waste all my things. Okay, I think they each do it twice. One, two. Nope, I'm dead. Whoops. Okay. Come on. Long jump. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I think there's a lot of bats in this one. Yep. I need some more eggshell. There we go. Just what the doctor ordered. This next one will fall down. That's okay. Okay. All right. Same thing again. Jump over here. Got it. Okay, in. Okay, here's the last part. And this is hard. Very hard. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, kind of what you need to do with the way... The thing is, like, take your time with this. You have to go underneath in this first one. You're stuck. But this one, you have to go up. Dang it. It's hard when you, when you just fall off of something, it's usually better to do a little jump or it's hard to determine how far or like kind of how to control yourself. Like I said, because the things are, are pretty floaty. The controls are very floaty. So I'm going to jump off of this. So go over here. Oh no, we didn't get it. That's okay. Just wait your turn. And the thing is, the, the game is actually pretty generous with where you start out. If you make it to checkpoints, there's quite a bit of checkpoints, which is good. But the goal is to make it to the very end with a lot of acorns. Doesn't really matter too much about your health. But, um, well, it does. But it's. You really want the acorns. That's what we're really after. So here's a checkpoint. I think if we make it up to here, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know how to get past that. Uh oh, no. See, do that little jump. Ah, 
Oh, this is sketchy. So jump up and hit these guys. So if you can, jump over the bat to do it because it saves on the acorns. But don't put yourself in harm's way to do so. This is the last section before the end boss. And we're doing decent on acorns. I'm just going to wait it out. I've made it too far. Do not put yourself in harm's way. Whoa, I thought I was going to die. Okay, here's the end boss. So I'm going to pause it and explain what's going on. Okay, you see Rocky up there in the top right? The I guess the uh um the score is blocking uh kind of his sprite, but Rocky is in a cage up there and the chain's gonna fall down and what you have to do is uh the bolt keeps trying to slide out. So that's why we need the acorns. This prisoner guy is gonna always try to keep attacking you, but if you hit him, he'll stay paused for about three seconds and then you can concentrate on keeping the bolt in and you basically have to wait it out until the chain goes down to the bottom then you can jump onto the other side of the lava and then just hit the uh lock Go ahead and drop down. Jump to the other side and just bombard him. There we go. Grab the hat. And that's the end of Rocking Bullwinkle. And there's a big, long, elaborate ending to this game. So, yeah. It's a tedious game. I'll give it that. But it's worth a playthrough. Like, it's fun enough to... give it a playthrough. And I only had to put in about four hours of practice time to be able to beat this. Um, not very much. Maybe four and a half. Um... In the game, it's it's just little tedious stuff, like knowing where the hitboxes are, uh, just stuff like that. Like, uh, the last level was by far the hardest, but this was the easiest playthrough I've done of it, even though we did uh, die at that one part. And I think we got fortunate at the very end. I don't think I should have made that jump, um, but that was kind of cool. Uh, if you don't make it to the end with a lot of acorns, the game can be, the last level can be pretty tough. Um, yeah, so I suggest just trying to make it through on the first thing. Just watch how many acorns that you have. Try to get as much as you can. Don't waste too many. Um, yeah, just wait for the thing to lower and then just bombard it. Just, but just make sure you have enough acorns. 
So I'm gonna give this game, it's a C. I mean, it's a C. It's, uh, even though it's not that great of a game, it's, it's got some, it's got some fun aspects to it. I can't, I'm not gonna, like, just dog it too much. Um, I would have definitely, if I was a part of the development team, I would have really encouraged to have, um, smaller sprites on it. Um, uh, the controls, the floaty controls are just kind of, I don't know. It's not a game breaker, but it's not really fun either. Especially with the platforming and stuff like that. But the main issue is how big the sprites are, where the hitboxes are. Little cheap stuff like that. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm giving this game a C. Alright, well, thanks for uh, watching. Cue the music. <laughs>